and gentlemen, welcome to another Yao vlog. Uh, definitely got some things to talk about. First off, I want to give a shout out to Sivo. Sivo running their season six with $7,600 in guaranteed prizes. Plus that will go up with further community fundraising. That's uh, $5,700 for the Sivo P level and the rest of that $1,900 for the open level. So definitely if you're looking for a league to play some 6v6 in, go and check that out. The other main thing that we've had going on that I'm sure probably seen the videos on our channel is the arena respawn stuff. Just wanted to update you guys on that real quick. It's continuing to go real well. We're hosting events Monday night and Thursday nights con consistently at 7.30 p.m. Pacific. And uh, we're continuing to look at that process and to see how we can integrate more players into that. Uh, we just had some ideas kicked around, you know, that uh, revolve on around us getting three games going at a time during those nights, uh, but, you know, still probably just broadcasting actually one of them. But uh, that's been a lot of fun. We've been messing around with uh, weapon bans, banning two weapons uh, per team. But uh, sometimes right now that kind of takes a little bit of extra time. So uh, it's real cool, but, you know, people are still figuring out the meta. And that's the kind of the question, you know, is uh, the vaccinator obnoxious because people don't know how to deal with it? Or is it like a ban worthy uh, weapon? And kind of funny, too. I mean, I mentioned the story just mainly for discussion. Uh, but uh, like Mangachu is like really big fan of Arena Respawn. And then we introduced bans and he was like, I hate the bans. But, uh, you know, maybe part of the reason why he hated that was, was because we banned two really clutch weapons of his. Uh, one, which actually he banned. But, you know, whatever. So we're still kind of figuring out some things like with the bans, whether that's, uh, you know, worthwhile doing it with the weapon bans. But it uh, definitely has been a lot of fun playing it. And again, check out the Arena Respawn Steam group if you just want to find those pug servers. We're trying to get those populated more often. And uh, definitely we will be, you know, working towards getting more organized events through Pro Battle League. So Pro Battle League is continuing to develop slowly but surely. But, uh, you know, we're really excited about the future. We've been talking to sponsors and always that conversation kind of develops slowly. But we've also had some really great leads and some great things that could happen in the future. Pro Battle League's uh, perspective, I think, is, you know, something that I very much agree with is that we don't, we're not going to spend money that we don't have. We're not going to make promises that we can't keep. So we're trying to build, we're trying to do these things, but it is a little bit by little bit by little bit. The coolest thing that I can talk about is an event that we got planned for Las Vegas, New Year's Eve, uh, in coordination with this event called SkillCon. Check that out, skillcon.org. And SkillCon's a really cool event. It's gonna be focusing on just like all these different activities that take skill, surprise, surprise. But you know, there's like cocktail flaring, there's like, juggling there's kick volleyball which is like a really crazy awesome southeast asian sport if you don't know what that is and uh, there's going to be an esports thing going on as well and we're going to be working with gameworks gameworks has an esports bar in their las vegas location it's going to be a ton of pcs and it's basically going to be like a 50 computer rent your own computer you don't even have to buy a computer but uh, show up and just get your game on for three days the 29th the 30th the 31st and you know for sure we're gonna have a huge New Year's Eve party that night. So definitely I know that, you know, this is kind of short notice for a lot of people. I mean, really we're like six weeks out from it. And uh, it's kind of a tight, you know, timeline for people to plan travel and stuff, but we're still hoping that we can get players from the Las Vegas area or the Los Angeles area or other uh, regions that are nearby coming to attend this awesome event. And well, we'll be, you know, talking about that a little bit more as, you know, maybe some other details come in and come to pass. We will definitely be having $2,000 in prizes for TF2 events. Most likely right now, that's looking like we'll break that up into MGE Soldier, MGE Scout, and an ulti duo. Uh, we also, you know, we're really hoping to, to actually launch this into a bigger event and have production flown in and all these awesome things. So that stuff didn't quite happen. We will, you know, be trying our darndest to get a great production set up for you guys. And it should be a blast. And this is something, you know, that Pro Battle League and SkillCon want to continue to do year after year. You know, add another awesome annual event to the TF2 calendar. Poor KNL, that's always my response. So I think that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. The Pro Battle League, always looking for more players. Uh, check out their website, hit them up. T Butler at BattleLeague.com is the main honcho. And, uh, well, I hope you guys have been enjoying those Arena Respawn VODs and tuning in live Monday, Thursday nights. We also, of course, have our UGC every Monday. They will be having an off week for Thanksgiving, but instead we actually got a Borneo show match coming up. Uh, additionally, uh, UGC Sixes is heading into playoffs, and uh, I'm going to be trying my best to cover that uh, as much as possible. Uh, we'll we'll see how that happens. I like don't 
I told uh, Mambale over at UGC, I was like, don't make any promises for me, but I'm gonna try my hardest to make sure to be there every Wednesday night, which schedule-wise should work out. Anyways, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Axe Stein. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.